Welcome guys again, I just wanted to do a little video, very short, thank you, short. Um, the Mavic and the little battery in here, which is completely flat on mine, because I've been having fun flying it in the trees. Being able to charge it with something like this, which is a really cheap power voltage regulator. Get them on eBay, Amazon, they're a bit cheaper on eBay, but you might get it early next year, before your Mavic still maybe. And any kind of battery. Well, with this one, it's a booster, so as long as the battery's under 13 volts, it'll work. If your battery's over 13 volts, like if it's a 4S, 5S, 6S LiPo, then you'll have to get a, something very similar to this, but it's just a step down or a butt converter. So, I'll show you quickly the voltage. So, quickly, you can see on here that the battery's on like 11 volts, uh, all equally balanced, that's very nice. Uh, 561 dropping fast. Obviously, it needs charging, it's on 14%. Shouldn't fly with that. So, let's see if we can charge it from one of these girls. Okay, so with this guy, I've put XT60 on. This is the out, this is the in. And I say, because we want to provide 13 volts out of here, and this is a booster, so let's say step up booster here, we have to provide it less than 13 volts. If we have our batteries higher than 13 volts, then we have to get a different kind of. Uh, but converter that will be a step down. There are now, if you look at the solar uh, regulators, you can get actually up and down, which are more. I've ordered a couple of those to see what they're like, but that could be a better solution yet to try it. So, here, what we're going to do, we've got XT60 on here. These are the best for this kind of stuff because they're up to 60 amps, so the 60 means. We're going to plug this into here, plug it into the battery, and then my little uh, sacrificial charger port I've got for the Mavic, I've got an XT60 as well, so I can move this around the car charger, the 100 watt charger, and then now play with it. So let's wire this into here, like so. Then we can plug this battery in, like so, and then play with the light so you can see it. There we go. So this is a 4000 mAh battery, just a, it's a 7.4 volt uh, 2S, so just two cell. And here we have the Mavic battery, which is a 3680, is it? 3830, close. So what we're gonna do here is we'll set this, hopefully you can see this clear. What we'll do here is we can set this up. So basically we wanna uh, change the voltage. Uh, sorry, we wanna set voltage to 13. I was thinking that was amps then. So just over 13 will do it. I know these are quite inefficient, so I'll put it a little bit higher. The, the battery takes 13.1, so 13.2 is good. And if we go to set, and then we've got ampage is 7.27, so I'm going to put that up to 8. Now I know this won't provide 8 volts, but it'll probably provide like 5 to 7 amps, sorry, 5 to 7 amps. But if you used like a car battery, a 12 volt car battery, you'll get 8 amps, no problem. And you can use this exact setup. So there we go, and now it should climb, and you'll see that it's uh, current regulated at the moment, and now it's voltage regulated at 0.24. And what I'll do is I'll, so we can bring our proper meter into picture, and just so look at what you're giving us. So 12.88, so we need to push it up a little bit more. Anyway, so we'll push this up a little bit more, and we'll see the output voltage raise. So this is a little bit inaccurate, not to worry. So I'll stick it to 13.1 because it'll drop a little bit as well under the load. There we go. So 13.50 on this is 13.1 in reality. I trust my Bryman far more than anything else. So we got 7.4. Let me check that. So we got 7.4 volt battery through a cable on the input. And we've got a Mavic. So we can plug this guy in, our XT60 and then plug it straight into the Mavic. And you can see it's charging. So there we have a very simple solution to charge any battery uh, that can provide the ampage. Obviously this would only charge it once maybe, but if you have a, a big car battery, if you want to charge it a car, this would work perfectly. Uh, and this is a very generic solution, so you could do a very easy to adjust the battery. So if I just had a battery on its own, this won't work unless I adjust it. So this is a lot more diverse a solution. So yeah, we'll just leave that and see if it does charge it up. We can just press uh, OK to switch and see what amps. So the, yeah, this battery is only providing 6 amps, which I'm not surprised by. 
So that's basically the same as the car charger you would buy from DJI, which is $50, I think. Yeah, you get six amps, so that's 75 watt-ish. Alternatively, you could just get a, a 10 amp power supply off eBay for, or Amazon for you know 10 to t uh, $20. And you could plug that into here, and you could put it. You could get the full eight amps, so you get 100 watts. So that would be double what the the PSU you get with your Mavic is. So I did a test on it in a previous video. It's 43 minutes, I believe. So you're saving 20 minutes. Uh, what I'll do in the next video is I'll show you this and how it, this runs in 100 watts in the car, and it's pretty diverse. But I'm trying to make one that will do both when your car is on and off. We'll see. If that's easy enough to do or not. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll let this play out.